Hi, it's Adam here, and um, I'm going to test a uh, my heat pump tumble dryer. I bought it for the missus because it looks nice, but I want to test how efficient it actually is because everyone on the internet's banging on about how heat pump technology is more efficient, it uses less power, um, it, better for the environment, better for your clothes, etc., etc. So I'm going to test it. I've rigged up a um, computer controlled power meter to this dryer. We're going to see how much power it uses drying five towels. And the same towels are going to go into a normal conventional um, tumble dryer that's vented and we'll see what the difference actually is for the same load. This is the rig I'm going to be using to check the power consumption. I'm going to be monitoring the um, voltage and current and calculating the power every second that the uh, tumble dryer is in use. And um, you can see this is a Samsung heat pumped t uh, tumble dryer. It's the 9 kilogram version. So here we've washed five towels and they've all been spun at exactly the same speed, 1400 RPM and then this load is going to go in there and we're going to see how it performs. Right, I put the five towels in the dryer, uh, they weigh four kilograms, so that's half load roughly and I've set the cycle to um, cupboard dry number two. So expecting these to be reasonably dry when they come out, or actually totally dry when they come out. Um, and we're going to see how long that takes and also monitor the power it takes to do that drying. So here we go. You can see as the um, unit draws power, we're monitoring it in real time. And that's a graph already of the uh, the power consumption as we go. And you can see it started off at just 88, um, 800, <laughs> 0.8 amps. Now it's at uh, 1.7 amps. So different things are going on in the machine. So I, I think what's happened is the first use was the motor, and now it engaged the um, the dehumidifier element, which is the heat pump. But basically, it's got a refrigeration compressor in this part of the washing machine, and in this section, it's got the um, condenser. And it's using that to condense out the moisture from the uh, from the washing area. And now it's just gone up a little bit to uh, by another few milliamps, and that tells me that the water pump has activated. And what that does is, on this unit, I've connected the water to the outside drain, so I don't have to keep emptying it. So yeah, the water pump's engaged now, and in a few seconds, that'll probably drop back down again. It's about 40 minutes into the cycle now. And we're drawing uh, 2.4 amps. That probably corresponds to about 600 watts. So the machine is putting a little bit of heating in there, um, but not much. 600 watts is still about a uh, you know, quarter of what a normal um, vented dryer would, you, would use. So it's still looking really good. So now about one hour into the cycle, and it's using uh, 2.67 amps. So it's roughly about 630 watts. So, uh, yeah, normal dryer uses about 2,000 watts, so we're still at about a third the power consumption of a normal dryer. And the machine does feel a little bit warm. So, uh, it is using some heating, but not much at the moment. Uh, we're now one hour and 12 minutes into the uh, drying cycle, and the machine has now dro dropped to four minutes from the originally predicted three hours. And that's just because it's not got a full load. So it looks like the predicted time for this cycle will be about 1 hour and 15 minutes. And you see the current is now 2.7 amps steady. It's about 625 watts. Uh, it's about a third of what a normal dryer would be using. So the dryer is in its last um, minute of its cycle. And you can see the current has now dropped down to uh, 0.7 amps. So that's, uh, that's it. It is finished. There you go. So let's see how dry they are. Yeah, pretty dry. <laughs> so basically, one hour, 15 minutes to dry five towels or a four kilogram load. So that drying run is done and it calculates as 0.657 kilowatt hours is the amount of energy required to dry five towels or a four kilogram load. And um, that's in the Samsung heat pump dryer. Um, 
And now we're going to compare it to see what a normal vented tumble dryer does. So we're outside now, and what we're going to do is test the performance of an Indesit IDV75 vented dryer. And the temperature outside is roughly 18 degrees, the same as the temperature on the inside of the house. This must be a fair comparison between the Samsung heat pump dryer and the basic Indesit vented dryer. We've set up the same rig where I'm going to be monitoring the power consumption and the laptops there. Now we are outside and we are in the UK, so um, by the end of the test my laptop could have been stolen. But anyway, we'll, we'll try and hope for the best. So here goes. Actually, for that matter, in the UK, someone will probably steal the tumble dryer as well. So uh, let's have a look. <laughs> so we're just going to have to check the drying manually. So we'll just set it for an hour and see what happens. So let's have a look. Man, that's impressive. So it's drawing 10.8 amps, so nearly 11 amps. Yeah, that's a lot. So, um, there you go, it's registering it on the computer there. I don't know, actually, my rig's only designed to, can, to handle 10 amps and it's drawing more than that. So we could end up with a bit of a short test. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. Um, we're drawing about uh, two, 2,000 watts there. Maybe even more, actually. Uh, about 2.3 kilowatts. Well, let's see, maybe it won't take so long to dry if it uses this much power. So, let's see how it goes. Okay, we'll be going 25 minutes now. I'm still drawing uh, about 10.6 amps. So, let's see what the uh, loads are like. Okay, so they're still a bit damp, so let's uh, let's let that run a little bit longer. We'll be going 35 minutes now, and let's have a look how things are going. Yeah, I'd say those are now a lot closer to being dry. So what I'll do, I don't want to, I want to give this a fair test. That feels like it's about five minutes away from being dry. So we'll close the door, press start. I'll just turn it round now, so it's probably not even in the heating stage anymore. It's just going to use that little bit of heat that's left to. Um, yeah, finished drying. You can see now that the current's dropped to 0.8 amps. Just using that little bit of heat that's left in the dryer and hopefully within a few minutes that'll be dry. Right, I'm going to have to do another few minutes on the heat because it wasn't quite dry. So I'm just going to put some more heat on. And then uh, we'll just let it go another few minutes and uh, that should then be dry. Right, let's have a look. So there we go. They're more or less dry. It's taking 45 minutes, and yep, it's not drawing any power now, it's uh, in the off mode. It sounds crazy, but some things use power in standby. So let's go and see what the consumption was. So there you have it, uh, compared the, um, the, the Indesit vented dryer, and it, it just typically just draws about just under 11 amps for the whole time it runs. It is quicker than the Samsung, but it draws a lot more power. So you can see the average power now of the... Um, Indices, it's drawing you know 2,233 watts versus 550 watts, which is the average power. So it's actually you know drawing four times the average power. Um, but then it is slightly quicker. It took 45 to 50 minutes uh, as opposed to one hour and 15 minutes for the Samsung. But then if you look at the amount of power used for the complete load, uh, 0.657 for the Samsung and 1.898 for the uh, Indesit. So clearly the Samsung uses one third of the power it doesn't scorch the clothes as much. It, yeah, it's more gentle, but it does take a little bit longer. So I think, um, in conclusion, the Indesit uh, vented dryer does the job. You can't knock it. It's a very simple, cheap piece of uh, kit, but it's outclassed by the Samsung in every respect. Um, so if you pay the money, you definitely get what you pay for.